go from this to this without stepping one foot into a hair salon. I'm using Design Essentials hair gloss. I'm using my flat iron at 410 degrees. I'm using a dime size amount in each section and I have four sections. And I'm gonna work that in really well. Make sure you get it all up in there because you wanna make sure that you want your hair protected from the heat. You wanna flat iron with a small tooth comb and it's going to work just like a straightening comb. Don't worry about the ends because we're going to trim those after we flatter it. You want each piece to be about a half inch thick. You don't really want to grab real big pieces. And as you can see, I'm adding another dime size amount to this section because I did it through all four sections. That might seem like a lot, so you can put whatever desired amount that you want, but that's just what I chose to put in my hair. We wanna make sure that our hair is protected from the heat as much as possible. And you wanna also make sure that you're not passing the flat iron through your hair too many times. I did about one or two passes. You do not wanna go over the same piece three or four times. That is entirely too much. And as you can see, my hair is pretty thick and one or two passes was good enough, so I think you should be good if you have a decent flat iron. And you also wanna make sure that if the, if the piece is too large for your flat iron, just go ahead and take that section and split it into two like I did so that you can make sure that the hair is where it needs to be on the flat iron for you can get the best results. Don't put a whole bunch of hair onto the flat iron and have hair sticking out of the hot plate because your hair will not be straight. Now I'm gonna trim my ends because they're very crunchy and I was due for a trim. I haven't had a trim in a long time. I'm not a professional, but I know how to trim my ends <laughs> to the best of my knowledge and it works for me. So, you know, your own discretion with that. Now you wanna go back through and just bump your ends. Now you're gonna take, a, I took a brush and I wrap my hair around with that. You can use a wide tooth comb or something like that, but do not use a small tooth comb because you're gonna, you're gonna lose the body that you want in your hair. I added a little more oil and I wrapped it with saran wrap because I'm gonna be adding heat to this I'm not sure what this process does, but I guess it kind of stimulates the oils that you sprayed on your hair and that you flannered your hair with to um, you know, bring it all together and give you nice body and flow and shine and everything. So that's what I'm doing. I don't have a, a hair dryer that you sit up under, so I'm just using a hand blow dryer. And I did this for about several minutes. Now I'm combing it down and as y'all can see, I am like in love with how much body my hair has. I knocked my earring out, y'all. <laughs> they so big, you can't help but knock these earrings out sometimes. But yes, you wanna comb it down with a wide tooth comb so that you can keep the body. And that's it, guys. Not hard at all. I got a silk press right at home. I'm not sure if you know you would consider this a silk press, but hey. That's what I'm calling it, and I love it. All right, thanks for watching.